What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Odin coming back with a box office a breakdown this past weekend, which saw Wakanda Forever once again taking the number one spots all in preparation for next weekend, which will have the massive release of Avatar 2 The Way of the Water or The Way of Water. Honestly, I don't care. As many of you all know, if you've been following me for a while, I am not a big fan of the first Avatar film. I've been hearing that this film doesn't sound like it's going to be all that much better than the first one as the story continues to be the biggest negative of the film and again based on early reviews and if you don't have a good story then I feel that it is impossible for you to have a good movie just because it looks pretty and has pretty lights and pretty effects and oh my goodness the money spent on screen doesn't justify three hours and ten minutes of a okay at best story but that's, of course, going to be for next weekend. Looking at Wakanda Forever, though, it is t it's continuing to dominate the box office. As we can now see, it has surpassed the box office for that of Thor, Love, and Thunder, and is getting very close to surpassing The Batman, which last I checked was the number five highest grossing film of 2022. And so this film has indeed come to play. There's still no denying the fact that this film is far below where the first film was by quite a bit, especially when you take into account how much tickets were on average back in 2018, 2017, 2018 when the first one came out and how much they are compared this time. Not only do you have a lot less money this time around, but you also have a lot less people this time around as well. Looking at the actual numbers, Black Panther domestically made another 11.11, .11, sorry, 11.1 .1 million dollars, which is a 37% hold from last week. So as you can see, the, the movie is holding pretty well. It'll be interesting to see what kind of numbers this film puts up once it finally has competition next weekend with the massive, expected to be massive release of Avatar 2. Again, that film is projected to make well over $100 million domestically, and it potentially is looking at a $400 million worldwide weekend. So, we'll of course, wait and see when we finally finally actually get some numbers um, as they start to come in. Violet Knight came in at the number two spot once again in its second week, only dropping 35%. From its last week, so it is well on its way to breaking even and making a little bit of profit for Universal. So kudos to them for being able to put out a film with, again, I think a pretty interesting premise. I've heard interesting things about the film. Some people have said it's so bad that it's good. Some people have said it knows that it's bad and it does a good job at it. Either way, it sounds like it's a good time at the theater, at least according to a lot of people who I uh, genuinely trust for their movie opinions, or at the very least take their movie opinions quite seriously. Coming in at number three, once again, is Strange World. So though the percentage drops don't look all that bad, 29% of a hold in its third week of release, because this film costs a massive amount of money, the film is still set to be a $200 million loss for Disney, which will end up eating up the vast majority of their profits from their other films this year. So even though Black Panther is at the point of making money, and is likely to make uh, over $100 million in net gain profit, it's not going to be nearly enough to make up for the massive losses of Strange World. At the number four spot, we have The Menu, continuing to hang around as well, $2.7 million. So it's doing what it needs to do domestically. The question is, of course, will it be able to continue to hold through the holiday season as we enter into Avatar time and the greater Christmas holiday after that as well? We'll have to wait and see. It's still not quite close to breaking even, but it is on the way, or at the very least, it is slowly crawling there. The question is, will it make it by the very end? Hard to say at this point in time. And then coming in the number five spot is Sony Pictures, once again, with Devotion. Unfortunately, a film that costs $90 million, and so even though I've heard some pretty good things about the film, uh, featuring, or rather, you know, featuring a character, fe featuring one of the actors from Top Gun, in fact, from Top Gun Maverick, um, uh, who played basically the Iceman-like character in in the, in the newest version of the film. He is one of the star starring roles in the film Devotion set during the Korean War, and I hear, I hear relatively good things about it, but the $90 million budget and a very low opening, very low box office all around, as you can see, it's domestic is only $16.9 million, meaning that this film is going to be about a $100 million flop. So not a very good sign for that film going forward. So that's our top five. Going into those numbers a little bit more, we have Black Panther, of course, at $767 million, which puts this film, as I said, ahead of the 750 or so million that was made by Thor Love and Thunder. Putting, up this, putting this film up against a couple other movies, as you all know, I've been tracking the domestic dailies of Black Panther versus Doctor Strange. It is still trending ahead, which is the reason why I think that its end domestic is going to be somewhere between 450 and $500 million. I think that that's definitely Definitely a likely scenario. Currently, it is sitting at um, around the $409 million domestic mark. Another reason to think that is because it is about to surpass, right, by next weekend, it will surpass the entire domestic of Doctor Strange. Right? This is what it took 10 weeks for Doctor Strange to do. This film will end up doing it about six weeks. So that's the reason why I think 450 to 500 being kind of like that cap off for domestic is still a very likely scenario. It's even more impressive when you put it up against the domestic of Thor, Love, and Thunder, and even that of The Batman, which this film has already done a lot better than 
in those markets. You also look at it internationally and you see that though the film is not going to be able to catch the Doctor Strange $540 million, it does have a chance of still being able to catch up with Thor Love and Thunder's 401 international number. That is something possible. Now, Avatar 2 coming out next weekend, that is something that could very well uh, eat into that marketplace and make it a lot more difficult for the film to be able to do that, but it is still a possibility and that's the reason why right now I think the film's kind of ceiling is somewhere between eight and $850 million. I don't see it making any much more than that. Again, $800 million, I would say, is a more likely scenario. Um, interestingly enough, though, that will still be below the expectations that this film had, even based off of its opening weekend. So, yeah, let's just say... It's, it's looking good on paper for this movie as far as its financials, but it's not looking very good in comparison to so many other uh, films and so many other things going on at the box office, especially the history of the MCU. But it is interesting, nonetheless, that it will end up beating the Batman and will become the fifth highest grossing film of the year. That is, of course, until Avatar comes out, in which case the film will drop into the number six spot because Avatar is, I think, going to take the number one spot. I don't really want it to. It looks terrible. That all being said, I, even though... I have a personal bias clearly against it. We'll still record and report those numbers um, objectively because numbers are what numbers are. And I still think the film is going to make quite a bit of money. Again, Black Panther, 766, seven, $767 million. Violent Night at $41.7 million internationally. So that one's doing quite well. Strange World continuing to be a massive flop at $53 million. Menu at $57.7 million worldwide. And Devotion, $17.3 million overall. Uh, also, there's been recent comments from Dwayne The Rock Johnson saying, The Black Adam film, it made money. No, it didn't. Uh, I don't know what he is talking about, but as far as the box office release of this movie, this film was a, a pretty massive flop, north of $50 million of a flop. So unless he's trying to throw some numbers around and try to play some some uh, you know some fun number, you know, Jenga, like, oh, if I put this piece here and I put this piece here, maybe some Tetris, you know, try, if, unless he's playing that kind of a game, I, I don't really understand where he's coming from because, uh, yeah, let's just say he is he's bloviating and he is lying uh, because this film was not a box office success or even a box office hit. And it actually was a box office flop. Looking at the actual chart, because we love doing charting here on the channel, as you can see, with the $41.7 million made by Violent Nights, right now we can project that film to make somewhere between $59 and $83 million by the end of its run, which means I suspect that it will make somewhere between $5.7 and $20 million in net gain profit. Right now, it's only around $4 million in the red, so definitely not a terrible number there for, for the film. It'll probably break even by the end of next weekend. Strange World, on the other hand, right, even though it's at $53 million, even though it has had a small drop-off domestically, still at $237 million in the red which is the reason why I projected this film to be north of a $200 million loss. Devotion also expected to be north of $100 million of a loss. The menu still at a $10 million loss, so it still has a chance. It still has the potential to do something, but it's still uh, still got a little ways to go, and it's got to continue to show the way that it is, making a couple of million dollars basically from this point going forward. And I think, again, Avatar 2 is looming over not just this film, but so many other films. Uh, we have She Said continuing to be a flop. Also, Wakanda Forever at $85.6 million in net gain profits. Right, I had projected the film to get somewhere between a $92 and $279 million. And so it's looking like it might get to that um, that that minimum range. So again, I had projected the film to be somewhere between seven seventy nine and a billion dollars. So it looks like it's going to do better than the low range of this uh, of what I had projected. But it's definitely not going to get anywhere close to the billion dollars that it could have made had it doubled its money after the first two weeks. Not likely to get close to that average number either, as it is running out of room, running out of steam and running out of places to be able to get money. Regardless of any of that, the film is still a success on paper. However, again, I think that we could absolutely look at it in a nuanced way to understand that though it's an individual success as a franchise player or as part of a larger franchise of MCU films, it is a bad sign of things to come. This is a movie that should have motivated the domestic audience in such a way that it ended up not doing. Again, this is much better. This is a much better domestic uh, performer than some of the other recent MCU films, but a movie, right? with the first film made over 700 million and is still one of the highest grossing domestic releases in the MCU's history to not be able to, to capture that same kind of magic and not be able to capture that same type of love, I think that says quite a bit about the actual film. But those are the numbers as they stand. What are y'all's thoughts about this? Do you expect that Black Panther will be kind of decimated next weekend with Avatar 2 coming out? Also, what are y'all's thoughts about any of the other films I mentioned? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, smash that like button, like that fire button, Ozzy, and smash the rumble button as well. Also, check me out over at OMB Reviews if you want a fuller box office breakdown, talking about some other films and breaking those things down even further. Have one of our your day, everybody. A blessed Gaudete Sunday, blessed Advent, and as always, God bless.